Well, this is what I've been working on recently. And again, this was inspired by a video that I saw on a posting on the Office of Steam forum. I think it was Jan who posted the video. And he'd made a, a small uh, steam engine, little steam engine accessory, which was basically just one of these uh, toy plasma balls and one of these very nice um, little dynamos. And the idea was that this is all mounted on a wooden base and you could connect it up to steam engine and get the steam engine to power the dynamo and power the plasma ball. Well, unfortunately, uh, Jan's obviously got a lot more powerful steam engines than I have because I tried that with several of my steam engines and they just weren't man enough to produce enough oomph to power the plasma ball. Um, so I was scratching my head about this and I was thinking, oh, well, I know, well, I'll, I'll try it with one of my hit and miss engines, which is what I did. And it worked absolutely fine with hit and miss engine. I had to... Uh, make a slightly larger drive pulley for it because the pulley that I originally made was too small but yeah it does all appear to work now and I just think it's a it's a great it's a great accessory we'll get it running in a minute you can have a look at it I've added a couple of terminal posts so I can monitor the voltage and possibly use the generator to drive something else the hit and miss engine is not mounted permanently on this base there are two eight mil bolts that come up from the bottom and they're captive so I can easily remove the hit and miss engine should I want to use it for something with with something else yeah so yeah and, and I, it's, I think it's a great accessory to, to drive from from any engine that was mad enough to do it the plasma balls I got that from eBay and it was ever so cheap I think it was about 10 pounds including shipping it's designed to be run off uh, two AA batteries or USB and it originally it came with a um, it's got a uh, external DC power socket here and it, the, there's an on and off switch around here but yes it's basically designed to to run from uh, usb now what i did with it was uh, i removed the original usb lead that it came with and i've simply soldered on a couple of wires on uh, i took the base off and soldered a couple of wires on underneath to the um, where the dc power uh, socket is and they are connected to the two terminal posts and then the generator the generator actually outputs ac so you need to run it through a rectifier ideally a little bridge rectifier would have been perfect for this but i didn't have one so it's just i've just put four diodes in the appropriate pattern on a bit of vera board to make a very simple uh, rectifier the generators dynamos rather absolutely gorgeous little things and they come from a guy in austria who sells on ebay and the, I, in all fairness those things are not cheap but they are very good quality and they are and they give quite a high output as well and he supplies them with some dry belts and three different size pulleys already machined up so you know it's it's you get what you pay for it's it's good good quality stuff i think i think that was about 80 dollars and you have to add shipping on top of that for the for the for the generator, but uh, yeah, uh, you know. Uh, <coughs> oh, and the 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 base is my current made from my current favourite wood, which is Australian hardwood Jara, which uh, I just absolutely love. It weighs a bloody ton, so it's ideal for bases because it, 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 it just gets the whole thing so much weight and solidity. So yeah, there you go. So let's get it off the turntable and uh, we'll fuel it up and we'll get it running. Well, here it is running, and I'll try and adjust the lights so that you can actually see the plasma ball in action. Anyway, as you can see, it is running it, and it's uh, not too bad. If I turn this off, let's go, let's go back over to the 
meter. You can see the voltage is jumping around a bit, but if I turn this off, it should, there you go, spike up. So this is probably using about 10 volts. The plasma ball needs five, but you know, there you go. Let's uh, come back out again. Turn some light on. There we go. So yeah, actually getting the uh, old hit and miss engine to um, do some work. And the beauty of this heavy jar of bass is that it just doesn't move around at all. It's you know it's fantastic for for this application. So you see the ball working again. Okay, that will be it for now. This is just a quick video to show you this setup. Something you can use your Chinese hit and miss engines for. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks very much for watching. Cheers.